Hello and welcome back. Today's video I'm going to be showing you how to brew the perfect pot of tea. That will be the first part of the video and the second part we'll be learning all about the green tea. Here I'm going to add one tea bag into the pot according to the amount of people I have and one tea bag for the pot. That's the general rule of thumb. Next add boiling water. Since there's only two of us having tea today I'm only going to fill the pot to halfway. Next you want to leave your teapot to brew the lovely tea for about three minutes I should say. Today I'm using my Queen's Golden Jubilee tea set. It's a collector's item. I did want to keep it on the shelf and not use it but then I decided it was a shame not to use something so beautiful. While we're waiting for the tea to brew, I'm going to add sugar to each of the cups. I just love the sugar bowl with the handles on both sides. I think it's beautiful. Next, we're going to add the tea. It's important to note that the spout of the teapot can sometimes drip or dribble once you've poured the tea into the cups and you may want to wipe the spout so that it doesn't drop tea onto your place settings and onto your napkins or your tablecloth. Tea does tend to stain if you don't treat the stain very quickly. Next comes the milk. Milk is such a personal preference. Some people like a lot, some like a little. It's up to the individual. When stirring your tea, especially when you're in very posh surroundings, agitate the tea with the spoon rather than clatter the spoon around the rim or inside the tea stirring it. We just want to get that sugar incorporated without making a big noise in our teacup. And then enjoy the first beautiful sip. There's nothing quite like a cup of tea. Next we're going to be looking at a cream tea. Many people get confused about the difference between a cream tea and an afternoon tea. An afternoon tea usually consists of sandwiches, scones with jam and cream and other small pastries or cakes. What is a cream tea? A cream tea is basically a scone with jam and clotted cream. So here is my scone. I'm going to serve it with strawberry jam, which is quite traditional, and clotted cream. You can use double thick whipped cream, but clotted cream is traditional. Generally, the best way to embark upon a scone is to cut off a small piece, which is, <laughs> which is easier when you have two hands and not holding a camera in the other. You cut off a small piece and then you spread it with jam and cream. There is a huge debate as to whether the jam should go first or the cream should go first. And really, it is a matter of preference. You can add jam first or cream first. It doesn't matter. It's easier to cut the scone into smaller pieces and add small bits of jam and cream and pop those into your mouth rather than trying to bite a piece of scone laden with jam and cream that you're likely to get on your nose. A cream tea whilst calorific is generally considered lighter than a full afternoon tea and can be had at any time of the day. Some people have them for lunch depending on the size of the scone or scone as we say in England but can really be enjoyed any time of the day. Best enjoyed, I would say, outside in the sunshine. So that, my friends, is a cream tea. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have done so and leave a comment down below and let me know how you like your scones with jam first or cream first. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.